we have our 8th parliament session going on. It's very essential for everyone to know what issues are being discussed. That's why we have taken this initiative to reach the message to everyone. For that, we have Dasho Sangi Kando, NC of Gaza. We normally have um, a number of issues we take up, but the issues can generally be divided into two categories broadly. First is legislative issue, mm -hmm. second is policy issue. As the issue focused is on education and school, he stressed on it. And we looked at the education sector. Uh, we tried to visit the schools, talk to everybody, talk to students, teachers, uh, rural schools, town schools, big schools, small schools, centre school, non-centre school, Bhutan Council for examinations. We went to Royal Education Council, Ministry of Education, Department of Education. So basically, RUB, Power College Education, Sansi College Education, we tried to meet everybody in the teaching uh, sector and then we've tried to make some recommendations. For example, teacher this will uh, professional development, eight hours, Chimpopidu policy now. Second, they were saying uh, policy gi teacher karalu professional development equal which you must do, but we found out that rural school naru 15 hours get much away one year now, whereas in some urban school they're getting as much as 50 to 60 hours. So within the school also there's an variances to say more. Another review was there's one standing committee called the Natural Resources and Environment Committee now, NREC. They reviewed the agriculture policy of Bhutan. Then another committee that worked is uh, Social Culture FS Committee and they dealt with teenage pregnancy, um, sexual abuse, sexual harassment uh, of young girls and boys. So this session we had uh, one session question on China-India border discussions. We give recommendations and these recommendations are solutions and the solutions are based on engagement by engagement with stakeholders. We discuss, we debated, we argued. Then we looked at other research works which are already published and then we came up with the solutions and these solutions become recommendations and the committee recommendations don't necessarily go directly and our friends five minus 25 20 of them will question us mm -hmm. how can you say that your this recommendation is wrong or your this recommendation is good prove it to us then we have to argue and convince them and once we convince them we will vote and if you get the vote then our recommendation will be adopted by the house and then it will be sent to the government he adds on whether the discussion happens after the parliament session or not. The work doesn't stop there. So in the ninth session, the first few days of a session opens with what we call the follow-up of resolutions. As the committee begins to do its work, we have what we call a press conference. We have live telecast of our deliberations. Secondly, we also have newspapers who also invite us and talk things. And third, many of us, uh, and also our National Council, we use Facebook and Twitter again. We explain to them what we did for the last six months and what are the resolutions we took out. And we explain to them why it is important those resolutions are critical. So that is the last but very important step for us.